Leslie, this guy just keeps digging the hole deeper and deeper, uh, and it doesn't look good for health care. Well, Martha, I have to tell you, I interviewed uh, Jonathan Gruber just a couple of weeks ago on my talk show, and we went uh, line by line as to the economic benefits. He didn't call anyone stupid, and although I tell my kids that's a very bad word, and I do think it is, the American people aren't stupid. The American voters aren't stupid, and they know that some stupid remarks by a highbrow academic who do speak down to the American people frequently. Uh, I'm from Boston. I know those MIT types. Sorry, guys, but you know it's true. Uh, the bottom line here is one person's foolish remark that is uh, offensive to the American people and, and voter uh, does not make a reason for why you should wipe out legislation and take away the health care of uh, thousands and millions of people. When you look at two-thirds of the states in this country uh, that don't have exchanges in the states, if we wipe out the law, who would take the health care benefits away from currently uh, based on one person's stupid okay. remarks? Kevin, what do you think? I mean, is Jonathan Gruber just sort of an ivory tower academic who's speaking for himself? Or does he reflect a larger sentiment that seems to be pervasive in the White House on this bill? It's not only pervasive in the White House, Martha, it's pervasive in the liberal community, period. Look. Uh, without the, uh, the things that happened with Obamacare and the strategy that they put together, Obamacare would have gone over like a pregnant pole vaulter. It was not going to pass. And <laughs> Gruber knows that. And so do, so do most of America. We all realize that this was a joke. Look, Gruber, Gruber did this. Three, he, it wasn't one time, Martha. It was multiple times that he said this. And the White House can try to walk it back. Leslie can claim, oh, he's just a highbrow academic. No, what he is is he's an, economy, an, an economist from MIT. You can't walk that back. He is the architect of this plan. He knew exactly what he was doing. You can't find a new, there's no new doctors, there's no new equipment. Nothing about this Obamacare has benefited the American people unless you're getting oh, a, a rebate, I, mm -hmm. which is essentially, well, th that's it. There's, all, been, no, there's still, been nothing about Obamacare. We're all still picturing the pregnant pole vaulter uh, going, going over. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it's probably not pretty. Having been there three times myself, it probably wouldn't be pretty. So, you know, the big question is here, and I want to pull up the cover of this comic book that Jonathan Gruber also uh, put out, which has led a lot of people to say that he's once again, you know, talking down to the American people and dumbing this down into comic book form uh, to help them understand what was going on. And it turns out when you look at the polls that they did understand, Leslie, because 55 percent of the American people said that they believe that the administration misled when they sold this bill to them uh, and that they weren't clear and that they weren't transparent with them. So the American people, it turns out, are pretty smart uh, after all. But one of the big things that this may have triggered, these Gruber comments, Leslie, is a reinvigorated effort on the GOP's part as they come into power to do whatever they can to repeal this, uh, this bill or to reform it. I don't think they needed the reinvigoration, but certainly uh, Mr. Gruber's comments have helped that. I mean, despite poll after poll showing the American people, regardless of the ideology, uh, that they don't want uh, Obamacare to be uh, repealed or replaced, uh, they do want tweaks, they do want improvements in, in some areas of the legislation to be changed. Uh, nobody wants people who are now covered with pre-existing conditions um, or the thousands, if not millions of people who are benefiting. Think about it, people on life support right now uh, who may not be with us uh, if they didn't have insurance. So, uh, and when I was pregnant, no, I wasn't pole vaulting, but to say that, uh, you know, the Americans aren't benefiting from this, uh, especially in the states with the exchanges like where I am here in California, um, yeah. that's not accurate. I know the people that have insurance that didn't have it before. And when we speak to the economy, know, by the way, it's not Mr. people who had insurance that they liked who don't have it anymore and who are paying more for the insurance that they liked. And those are exactly the people that Gruber says are too stupid uh, because the insurance company passed along the cost to them. So we, we have to leave it there. Uh, thank you both. Oh. It's great to have you here. Ah, Kevin, we'll get you out here next time with the, <laughs> with the pregnant pole vaulter because we love that comment so much. We can't wait to have you back. Uh, Leslie, thanks to you as well. We'll see you both next time. Thank you, guys. You didn't.